After losing seniors Alicia Andrews, Brittany Logan, and Gabby Moss, the women's basketball team is looking for new talent in the 2015-2016 season. So much so, Flyers can be seen around campus holding tryouts for walk-ons. Primetime thinks the team has found its newest member. On October 8th, the men and women of the GSU basketball program hosted its third annual GSU Jam event where the Panther family is introduced to both squads before the new season begins. The men are arguably coming off their most influential season, and the star of the night was once again head coach Ron Hunter, who entered their event in a spacesuit and segue before hitting the quan with a few Georgia State students. Attendees received the full in-game experience as the pep band, cheerleaders, and dance team all performed to bring the exciting atmosphere of the basketball season back to the sports arena. Events during the night included a competitive three-point competition where wet shirt freshman Jeff Thomas took home honors beating senior and three-point specialist Carter Cagle on a night where the threes were seemingly raining from the ceiling. The next event of the night was the dunk contest, where officially TJ Scheiss became the new champion. However, reigning champion Isaiah Dennis was the people's champ as Dennis put the crowd on his feet by jumping over an airplane. All right, we just finished the third annual GSU Jam here inside the GSU Sports Arena. I got the chance to catch up with senior guard Kevin Ware and junior guard Isaiah Dennis. Let's go see what the guys have to say. Ware speaks on the scoring duo of Ryan Harrell and RJ Hunter and how they taught him. Contribute, uh, watching RJ and Ryan, how they played and contributed every night. It was just kind of like the stepping stone for me and the, the thoughts are going through my head this year. You know? Once again, where bows to leave social media for the season after failing to do so last season. So uh, just with the whole Twitter situation, I just looked at how RJ sacrificed and saw the blessings he got. So I'm looking at it and thinking about it that exactly same way. You know, just I want to be where RJ is. I want to be that next person up from Georgia State to be in the NBA and see where my career can go. So as far as team goes, where said it was as simple as simple can be. Another Sun Belt championship. You gotta get to the Sweet 16, man. You gotta do better every year. Dennis said inspiration to jump over the plane came from the team sports information director, Mike Holmes. Mike Holmes, you know, he, he saw me on walking on campus and asked me, do I want to jump over anything? I said, I'll, I'll jump over anything. He said, a plane. And I got scared. I like, a plane? How am I going to get a plane to uh, the sports arena? But, you know, uh, he made it happen. So that's what the deal came from. Dennis past dunks have made it onto Sports Center, just like Coach Hunter has in the past. And Dennis believes the coach can make it back to the show. And he might be with do if he keep doing that dance. <laughs> so you saw Coach Hunter dancing, you saw some shots, you saw some dunking, you saw a little bit of everything here at the GSU Jam session for 2015 for Primetime Sports inside the GSU Sports Arena. I'm Rashad Milligan. Play ball. <laughs>